Inside Jeff Bezos' secret project, Jarvis, to copy SpaceX. It's not exactly a secret that the billionaire space race is heavily saturated by the two of the industry's biggest names, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Musk, who is best known for Tesla, is also the owner of the aerospace company SpaceX. On the other hand, we have Bezos' company, Blue Origin. Elon Musk's conflict with Jeff Bezos just got real. Ever since NASA awarded SpaceX with the Human Landing Systems or HLS contract worth $2.6 billion, the two companies have been at each other's throats. Seeing as they both have essentially the same goals, it is easy to suspect that one company may be copying off the other. In their latest online feud, Musk went on his Twitter to aggressively mock Blue Origin for copying him and considering their proposed aircraft, the Moon Lander, as not being capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with SpaceX's Starship. So what exactly happened? Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look inside Jeff Bezos' secret project, Jarvis. We will then see if Blue Origin has truly been copying off SpaceX's work. If you are new here, we warmly welcome you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you never miss out on any of the latest Space World updates. Let's not waste a second and move on with the video. Blue Origin and SpaceX are set to compete for heavy lifting launches with the New Glenn and Starship rockets. They have both long harbored space ambitions. With Bezos founding Blue Origin in the year 2000, and Musk founding SpaceX in the year 2002, both to build reusable rockets. Blue Origin and SpaceX have clashed many times over different issues in the last few years. The feud between the two of the wealthiest men in the world goes back to the year 2004 when they had a disagreement over their space ambitions and has slowly simmered since. The animosity came to a head in 2013 when Jeff Bezos led a campaign to block SpaceX from having exclusive use of a NASA launch pad. Musk called it a phony blocking tactic and called out Blue Origin for not even creating a reliable suborbital spacecraft despite spending over 10 years in development, something achieved two years later in 2015 with New Shepard. In a recent case, Blue Origin sued the US government after NASA awarded a massive moon exploration contract to its competitor SpaceX. Meanwhile, Musk had taken a dig at Bezos in a tweet stating Blue Origin can't get it up to orbit. Over the last decade and a half, Musk has regularly called out Bezos for copying SpaceX, with both firms aiming for similar markets there was a patent battle between the two in 2014 when Blue Origin was granted one for drone ships used for landing rocket boosters, which SpaceX won and forced Blue Origin to withdraw from the patent claims. There have been arguments over hiring practices with Musk accusing Bezos of stealing talent away. After NASA announced SpaceX would be the sole contractor for the lunar lander contract, as a direct response to SpaceX's reusable Starship project, Jeff Bezos' space exploration firm will launch Project Jarvis, which aims to design reusable rockets. Blue Origin is making a new program to compete with SpaceX. SpaceX is currently preparing for an orbital test flight of its new Starship rocket named SN20, having already achieved a high altitude flight and landing of the craft. Blue Origin's Jarvis propellant tank is expected to begin ground-based test flights next month, leaving it well behind Starship in terms of overall development. The project follows another speculation that Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket will use stainless steel instead of metal. Stainless steel is also the same item used by SpaceX's Super Heavy rockets and Starship series. The first photo shared of the prototype looks remarkably similar to the earlier prototypes of SpaceX's Starship, which is what led Musk laughing at a tweet suggesting Blue Origin was copying SpaceX's homework. The similarity was quickly spotted by members of SpaceX, a fan forum on Reddit, with one popular post titled, Hey Elon, can I copy your homework? Mr. Musk responded to the post by crying laughy face emojis. 
Since being shared, the meme created quite a buzz on Twitter. Besides Musk's emoji reaction, it also garnered thousands of likes and around 400 retweets. One of the users wrote, To be honest, I'm surprised at how slow other manufacturers are to copy SpaceX. It's over five years since the first Falcon 9 landed and still no other rocket manufacturer has landed an orbital rocket. BO does the right thing copying SpaceX. They just need to become better at it. Another commented, The space wars will always be welcomed. It's good for humanity as long as they don't sabotage each other. I'm no fan of BO, but they should be copying SpaceX. It is the most prudent way to get anywhere fast. Copying in engineering doesn't solve all the problems, but it does make them easier. Having real in-class competition will be good for SpaceX in the future, a comment read. NASA spaceflights reporter Trevor Sesnick wrote on his Twitter account that Blue Origin modified New Glenn from 6061 aluminum copper to 304 stainless steel. However, Ars Technica's senior space editor Eric Berger said on his Twitter account that the rumor is untrue. He said the initial stage of the New Glenn was not going to be stainless steel. Ars Technica said many people in the industry were suspicious of Musk's proposal to develop a huge, reusable launch system when he first revealed the Starship project in 2016. They were still skeptical in early 2019 when Musk said that the rocket's core structure would be made of low-cost stainless steel rather than carbon fiber. Stainless steel is nearly five times heavier than composites. Still, it is cheaper and better suited to endure atmospheric heating during re-entry. Bezos appears to be attempting to guarantee that the project is constructed without enduring bureaucracy. As a result, insiders suggest that Project Jarvis moves forward quickly. However, no one of the Blue Origin top alloys has been willing to remark on Project Jarvis's funding. Bezos asked his senior employees about reusable upper stages. Still, sources said in the same Ars Technica report that advisors informed him that the strategy might not succeed. Bezos also appears to have been advised that SpaceX's fail-forward strategy of quickly testing and prototyping starships with few rules and steps would also not be successful. Some claim that Bezos is simply following Musk's lead in developing reusable spacecraft, similar to Futurism's claim. If you want to call it that, SpaceX isn't harmless of copying. NASA was the first to produce a fully reusable spacecraft in history through the Space Agency's Space Shuttle program. What do you think about Blue Origin's Jarvis project? Have they made the correct move by copying SpaceX? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button so that we will keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Until next time.